All right, so let's take a look at these two polynomials right here. We're gonna put everything we've learned together. We're going to solve this quintic, this fifth power polynomial, and this sixth degree polynomial, okay? Now, we're gonna cheat a little bit here. We're gonna use Desmos. I'm not gonna make you just like uh, hunt around for um, those extra solutions here, okay? But um, let's, let's take a look at this guy first. So this is degree five. So I'm looking for five different solutions, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab Desmos real quick. I'm gonna graph this and uh, see what happens. So let's see what this first one says. Okay, so this um, this first one, when I graph it, um, it goes like this, okay? It's a little more dramatic than this, but this root winds up being negative three, zero, and this one winds up being one, zero. Now, you might be thinking, oh, good. Well, we've got... Um, one solution and two solutions. But you may have forgotten what we learned about multiplicity. If this is hitting and it's bouncing back off, then that means it's got a multiplicity of two. It shows up two times. So we can take out this root and we can take out this root two times. So let's, um, let's see if we can do that real quick. So we've got one, one, 11, 19, negative 80, and 48. Let's see if we can take out the one first. Math should be pretty easy on that one. So one, two, two, 15, 13, 20, 32. Um, this should be 48, 48 and zero. Hooray! If you're doing any of these and they don't wind up being zeros, if you already know they're zeros, that's a problem. Okay, so make sure you're getting zeros for that. Now, this, I can take out another root. Um, as a matter of fact, I can take out another one. Should make our math a little easy here. Um, sorry. <laughs> and then I immediately make a mistake. Three, 16. 16, 48, 48, zero. Okay, so now I'm down to a cubic. So now I'm gonna take this, one, three, 16, 48. I'm gonna grab the other root that I know, which is negative three. Negative three, zero, zero, 16. 48, zero, okay. So now I'm left with one, zero, and 16, okay. So that means I have x squared plus 16 as my remaining polynomial. Well, I can set that equal to zero. Um, so this is going to be plus or minus 4i. So what are my solutions? Well, or what are my roots? Well, I have negative 3. I have 1 that shows up twice. Um, it does want you to list them out, including their multiplicity. So if it shows up more than once, you put it more than once, okay? So negative 3, 1, 1, 4i, and negative 4i. One, two, three, four, five solutions. Happy dance.